Hey there, how's it going? David in ARC here, and thank you for joining us. Today we've got another episode where High Def teaches me how to do some cool stuff in BeamNG. So let's, let's put in some buildings. Alright, let's get some buildings. Well, I guess ideally what I would do is go into my terrain editor and maybe flatten out a little place where I'm going to put my Absolutely. building. Absolutely. Uh, use the set height rather than flatten. Flatten can be a bit... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Still leave it quite slanted. Uh, no, no. Set height? Yeah. At least with set height, you're... Oh, remember to hold <laughs> it first. Or you can oh. do it like that. <laughs> at least you know... We're just, you... just going to put a building on the middle of them. <laughs> at least with <laughs> set height, you absolutely are guaranteed for it to be a dead flat surface. With a flattened tool, it works a bit like the smooth tool, I think, on an average. At least the old this smooth is, This tool. is not doing what I thought it was going to do. I thought I had to hold alt in order to pick the height. If you hold alt and then click once and then let go of hold and then it will be set to that. Right, so here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Okay, it's doing what I... All right, fine. I don't care. Just give me a place to put a building. <laughs> okay, there we go. I have a I have a right. plot of land. All right. Awesome. Give us some grass and then we'll stick on a factory or something. Okay, so grass. Um, I'm getting there. Let me, let me see. I got to remember. Oh, that's the painter. Terrain painter, mm -hmm. and I want a new layer of grass. I'll take that. Oops, that's not what I Yeah, want. that's all set up because we're using grid map assets. Okay, there we go. And so then I just paint this on. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, we'll all do right. that sometimes. Okay, so we have our First. we have our little grassy plot of land for our building. Yay! Yeah, right. Um. So now we go to the object editor. Not going to worry about gr uh, ground cover. Okay. Uh, so we want to go to the library because we want to load in something from our art folder. Uh, if you're loading in anything, it'll be from the library rather than the scene. Scene is everything that's there. Library is everything that could be there. Okay. So it's in the art folder and it's under shapes. So I'm going to double click art so and shape. By default, the extracted beam and G levels will have them laid out in such a way. So you'll have uh, stuff for environment like uh, road textures and floor textures and um, it's separate from buildings and objects that are small entities like uh, signs and barriers, things like that. Oh, okay. So shape is generally where everything is kept in this this kind of thing, basically buildings and objects. So, um, okay. There's, I mean, each level's got the same kind of layout, but obviously they have different stuff. So it's worth looking through them all. And I'll, we'll show you how to um, put them into your level in a minute. Okay. So uh, from here, we can see what we already have in our folder. Grip map. Which so got evidently it's just bus. a yeah. bus sign, a bus stop, and whatever an end object is. This is in what folder is this? Bus, uh, that bus was in right? buildings. Oh, right, okay. So go to MISC. Oh. You'll find a lot of stuff. It's very helpful for laying out stuff. So you've got the first low, row there it is actually quite helpful. It's got, um, it's got billboards, which are great, but it's got the uh, containers, which you can use for mapping out roads and stuff if you're making a very basic level you can map a track out with the shipping containers or you can use the um curbs and uh, sorry the cubes as well if you are making some kind of crazy i don't know unrealistic looking map but like ramps going across stuff um but yeah this is all sorts of stuff all you need to do is double click on anything you want to have a look at bring it in if you don't like it just press delete it's gone oh, okay and that's as easy i mean you just have to wait for it to load which is usually fraction of a second so you've got a speed bump there at the end which is quite useful we've seen that those speed bump um uh, movies there was a fad of those wasn't there for a while where people yes. were just driving at like, 200 mile an hour into a speed bump <laughs> yes. and they make video like, eight cars doing it yes exactly okay. <laughs> all right yeah so. so and you can resize it as you like using the scale tool which is the third tool on the left you can manually input scale adjustment there but I, I wouldn't do that with it. so if you click the um axes you can move it and you can also click the center which is the white bit and that will it will scale all th three axes at once so it will literally resize it evenly as it is okay <laughs> sorry sorry folks you just can... messing around okay no no go ahead i mean it's it's something that you can do i mean you can can, you can adjust that speed bump to be as harsh or as soft as you like using the scale tool. So, I mean, 
no harming playing around to your heart's content. I mean, this is what the beauty of this program is. Oh, sure. Just play with everything. It's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, basically the uh, point is it's easy as that to bring in an object that's already in your library. Okay. And many of you probably already know that, but, yeah, that's, that, that's it. And you can just press delete and bring in something else if it's not the thing you're looking for. I mean, it would be nice to have a preview window, perhaps, where you can like look at it and drag it round like you would examine something in a game sort of thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, you just double click. And sometimes you have to press enter on a on a screen that comes up, giving you loads of jargon and options. Just press OK unless you wanted to specialize it, I guess. I've never used that screen. But just click OK and it'll bring the object in. Uh, miles what? away. Oh, that's because it's a huge object. It's one of those giant Oh! <laughs> I was thinking it was so small I couldn't find it. No, no. It's so <laughs> big it was... <laughs> wow, okay. I was not expecting it to be... Okay, well, that's fun. Mm. There we go. Right. We'll just lay Noah's Ark there in the middle of the... There you go. I really wish I knew how to cut holes in terrain to do tunnels, like they did in the Utah map, where you go into the... Oh, hang on, I think the terrain ends, and the, the cliff's modeled there, actually. But I, I'm sure I saw a map where he'd cut a hole in the terrain to do a tunnel and come out the other end. Unless that was a big model as well. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think it's possible. I, Not yet, anyway. I, I don't I mean, I, I don't know. I was trying to think, you know, because uh, is this, uh, and, I, and I don't know, this is, forgive my ignorance, but is this the same editor, like for um, Far Cry and what have you? Is it the same premise? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's how I've got so familiar with it so quickly. As soon as I brought up the editor when I bought BMG originally, I was like, but this is... The Far Cry editor, because I, I used to spend ages playing with that. I'd like to spend the great big off-road in eight-wheeler by a rope and have it swing into a loads of enemies, so it would just like <laughs> destroy them all, and then have loads of barrels all fall down on top, and then a bomb go off, so it sets them all off, and there's just bodies flying everywhere. And well, yeah, I use the tools, and they're exactly the same. The way you move and rotate and scale things, all of the, but obviously not quite the uh, BMG relative tools, but I mean, yeah, I, I got a good head start with this, this editor because of Far Cry, that's for sure. Well, and the reason why I ask that is because if I remember correctly, and that's been a long time, and I only played around with the Far Cry, I think, 3 editor, maybe 4, I can't remember now, but like if you wanted to build a cave, you actually had to, or, or a tunnel, you actually built everything around it, right? Like, uh, well, okay, that's a bad example. Yeah, but that, I know exactly what you're saying. You know, you had to be able to invert the terrain so that it goes under itself. So it's like that's like a voxel, like uh, like sort of space engineers and medieval engineers, where the terrain does go around everything, but it this terrain can only go vertical. It can't go back under itself. I'm not sure if that's a beam and G thing or just the they might have programmed this. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. I'm talking out of my ass if I'm going on there. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, 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 I believe you're right. Yeah, it would. The, the terrain would just go in under into a cave sort of thing. But yeah, you yeah, like you, like it that you would with these tools. That's that's what we. What well, I it, yeah, and it's more like I would build. Um, just for the sake of argument, if I was going to build a rocky cave, I would essentially take these types of rocks and duplicate them and then stack them up and around and over. You know what I mean? So I would actually build the cave that I went into. Mm. I, I don't but know. That seems a, complicated. To be able to though. get into the cave though, you'd have to cut a hole in the terrain. No, 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 itself. no, I, I would, I, this would, I would drive along this right here. Oh, so you would make the entire hill out of rocks. Yes, yes, exactly. I see what you mean, yeah, okay, yeah. Now, again, that may not be the way that works, but just... I thought uh, you, you know. meant you would line the terrain with rocks, but no, yeah, I mean, you could do that, but... Yeah, that yeah. Would be a... yeah that'd be a pain. I mean, um, that's probably yeah. not the most e efficient way to make a tunnel, but, no. you know... Well, if it's the only way, then it is the most efficient way. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess so. Technically. Or, or, or at least the only way we are aware of. I'm sure there's some, mm. you know, way that would make more sense than taking... Does any other... If there's any other way that could do it better, then that would be more efficient. But being the only way, it would be the best way. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if anybody's out there kind of watching this and, and watching us kind of, as you guys say, faff about, um, would we, uh, and, and you know how to make 
you know, uh, legitimate tunnels, man, by all means, share that with us because uh, that would be cool to know. But anyhow, we, we digress. So let's. <laughs> so we actually haven't pulled a building in yet. So how do we get a building? So yeah, as you saw, there's no buildings in the buildings folder. Right. And as any of knows who's played on grid map, there aren't any buildings on grid map. So right. what a great example, really. I, yeah, that's that's worked out quite well. <laughs> so we need we need to just grab something from another level. Okay. All right. Let's get uh, right. let's get a factory or something on this plot. Yeah. So if you want to save it here and exit the game. All right. And exit. Okay. I saved, by the way. Awesome. So um, now we need to bring up the BMNG Drive directory, the game directory. Which is that? Which is where you find is? anything yes. that's that comes with the game. Um, for you to play out of the box so all the levels all the cars scenarios time trials bus routes everything uh, and it's all found in the content folder uh, under levels we can then select level to um, have a look at its assets so let's have a look at uh, for instance small map uh, small island small rock small island okay yeah which uh, has a few buildings on we're not going to get too complicated uh, watch out for East Coast USA because some of the files there can have a file association issue. Okay. Uh, I, I would use um, Utah or um, I'm not sure. I mean, a, a lot of the assets from these levels you can quite easily use this method to extract, but there are certain ones that need other files. And I think there's some naming issues we have to be careful. I'm not quite experienced enough to really iterate more but this method will usually work but sometimes you might get a texture or two on the building maybe the door or the steps might come up as no texture oh okay so i mean it, it can be hidden it can be tolerable and it more than likely can be fixed but as i say my experience of this is a little bit more limited than scenarios and um, level making and stuff so okay. well at least terrain modifying um so uh, we'll go with small island as it's a you know it's a, a small example it's not I don't think there's any issues with this. Anyway, let's have a look. So if we go into levels and uh, into small island, it's laid out like this because it's compressed, a bit like the way mods work. So into the art folder where all the assets are stored, uh, we can go to shapes, which is where you'll find all the models, basically things like signs and barriers and bins and buildings and uh, every uh, ramps are a very good place to come for there. You'll find that under misc usually. Uh, so under here you'll see um, a whole bunch of files which makes up all of the buildings that are on Small Rock Island. Um, it does look a bit of a mess because they're all kind of files to, that make up uh, one model. Again, I'm not very experienced with models whatsoever, so I know that you probably just need two or three of different files to make up one model. Um, my recommendation would be to extract the buildings file uh, folder and merge it with our level so we just get all of those buildings if okay. you wanted to if you wanted to pick out the bits uh to make up one model you would you would i mean it's they're not necessarily all going to be called the same thing that's the problem because it will probably be called the model name the ae which would be the shape but then the textures will be different names and without knowing what they're made up of i mean it'd be a bit more of a pain Okay. So the the simple way for me would be to just put all the buildings in. Okay. I mean that is going to make your level a bit bigger than it actually needs to be, but okay. you can always go through it and delete the ones you're not using. But then you'd have to know what each one's made off of. At least when it's in the game, you can look under the properties, and I believe you can then see everything that it's reading from all the files that it requires. Oh yeah. Okay. So at least then you can go through and prune them out gradually it's a bit of a pain we're in the zip folder so i should be able to just right click on buildings and copy right yeah and then okay and then we're gonna put this into the level we've been working on mm -hmm. which is in my levels yeah and my david in arc and then my art folder yeah and shapes. and shapes. 
That's it. And then I have buildings already, so I should be able to just paste and replace, right? Or whatever. Yep. Paste so if I merge. paste, and it'll say this already. Oh, actually, it, no. 32 it's files with the same name. So go ahead and replace them. Yep. Okay. You the boss, you say so. All right. Yeah, I mean, either way, they're going to be the same thing because they're shared assets between levels. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So, um, so now if I go into my yeah. buildings folder, I can see I have all of the same stuff that was in the one from Small Island. So, okay, cool. All right. Uh, now, there's, there should be, um, well, to say fine, and if you go up into the, just the de into your level folder, out of art, yeah, and then bring up um, info JSON, for instance. We're just bringing up Notepad++. Plus plus. Um. Now, I think there's only one file that needs to be adjusted for this particular folder, but say you were bringing in other assets that might have more than one file, it's good to just do a, a search in files function like we used before so that it will change every entry within your level that has uh, anything from Small Island, which is where we've just extracted from, and it will change it to David in Ark, which is oh, the name okay. of the level. okay. Sure. All right. So we're, that makes we're sense. Changing it. So I think it's just the materials cs file in this instance but this will ensure that it isn't it is if it isn't just that one so you go to search and then find in files when you use this function it literally doesn't matter what file you've loaded you can just load any any instance of notepad plus plus and do this from anywhere sort of thing so if you're just like oh i need to search just load up anything that will load up in this notepad so you want to find small underscore island whoops Okay, so small underscore island, and replace it with, I'm replacing it with David and Ark because that's the name of my level. So if those of you following along, whatever you called your level, that's what you're going to type in this box here, uh, where it says replace with. And then just replace in files. Now, um, just make sure that the the um, directory is still pointed at this level. I believe it is, but just for instance, okay. if you have... All right, so before you click that button there. That's I'll it. click the three dots and oh, actually no, that's not. Well, I'm glad you. It does that by default. It's still. It is oh, still oh, 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 okay. Actually, okay. You know, if you scroll down, you'll probably get to it. Actually. Well, actually, actually. I won't. It's, oh, no, it it's in my. Um, hang on, because it was in my documents, and then in my documents is the BeamNG folder, and in BeamNG we have levels, and in levels I have David and Ark. So again, so, just stepping through to make sure I have mine selected, right? That's it. Lovely. So if you're okay and now replacing files, it will probably find a few entries. So are you but at sure? least the only thing it's going to change is anything that has come from that level. So it won't change anything important that's already there sort of thing. And we watch it do its magic, and it says... Uh, 18 occurrences replaced. Awesome. Oh. So now that's I was like, I'm like, how do you say that? I don't even see that. Okay, uh, my window went, like, weirdly gray. I don't know. Oh, there we go. All right. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, it it, um, it, it goes... Uh, what's the word? Uh, translucent for you to uh, still type underneath it without having to close it and then go and open it again. Oh, uh, it's, wow. It's for fast coders that like, sort of don't care about that sort of thing. Wow. And they're just on the fly. They live right. in the high life. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's way more multitasking than I can handle. Okay. Okay. So we will you close. Function function. So now, if we load the, the level, and I'm not full of rubbish, we should be able to bring <laughs> in those buildings. <laughs> I'm not sure those two are related, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So if we go free cam and bring a uh, pause free cam and bring up the editor. All right. Got our plot. There we go. Grassy and whatnot. So fingers crossed. If we go to library now and bring up the uh, art shapes buildings folder. Shapes. Buildings. Do I have something else in there? Oh, oh, oh yes, we have. Okay. So oh, any I of see. those end build our buildings. Oh. 
oh, I see. So I have a tower, I have a, a shed, I have blockers, I have concrete towers. Wow. Okay. Those are all full buildings, all those numbered ones without descriptions. Those that are just full buildings. Which is oh so helpful. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. One of those bad all right, boys in. I'm just going to bring one in and see what happens. Oh, look at there. We have a nondescript big... Oh, yeah. Okay. That's one of these guys. I've seen these guys before. So at this point, I could do some rotating... I did not make my plot of land big enough for this guy. No. But uh, you'll find that nearly all of the BMNG asset buildings are designed to be sunk in. See where that door is? It's like way above the bottom oh, of the actual yeah. model itself. Okay. So it gives you the opportunity to have terrain around it that isn't as level as it is by the door. Yes, that makes much more sense. Like, like that, so it's, it goes up a bit there, but it still looks like it, it's right. Yeah, okay, I got you. Yeah, it gives you the so, little... And nearly all of them have cool. that feature, which is great. Really good designing. Yeah, that was very smart on their part. And it then probably I could... helped with a lot of their level designing. And then at this point, I could say, okay, well, I need to fix this terrain over here. So I could um, I'll just raise this up. Just to make it look, you know, a little, well, whatever. <laughs> Remember, we're just playing around. Don't, don't take any of this seriously, folks. Sure, right. no, I mean, if you want to put detail in, it's, but, I mean, it yeah. spend your time and take take a good look at everything before you fiddle with it. Fiddle with it, then look at it again, and then undo it, then do it differently, and then find out you liked it better the first time and go back and do it <laughs> yes. that way. Yeah, undo everything you just did in order yeah. to put it I mean, back. I mean, you come out with much better things if you spend time over it. Definitely. Sure, sure. Even if you waste half of, or more than half of it. Oh, that is so cool. So again, I just, I just double-click on said random building and then we can stick it in the level. Just want to get it out of there. Not that it matters, but... And then, like you said, lower it down to where the door meets roughly the terrain. And again, you, you could, or you could build a ramp up to it, or you could oh, that's raise true. the terrain especially into it. It, it can be done any way you fancy, really. Sure. That it doesn't have sense. to look realistic. It, as long as you're happy with how it looks, that's all that really counts. Unless you're going to put it on the forum, otherwise you'll get grilled. Yeah, uh, yeah which, which I have seen that happen to others, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the star map, etc., so when you have maps like Honey, I Shrunk the Map or the other one that's the opposite where everything is, you know, giant. Yeah. Was that, I mean, is that literally they just brought in the assets and then, you know, use the expansion tool or whatever, the scale tool and just change the scale of everything pretty much? Okay. Or, I mean, I'm assuming, oh, oh, wow. Oh, I should have done it the other. Hang on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Look at that. I would imagine that is pretty much all they did. But yeah. why not? It's different. Yeah. So this is a great thing is you can be artistic and creative and expressive with it. Yeah, you can do what you want to do. So now I have a giant building. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> and it looks better like that. It looks more like a big factory, I think. Well, the door doesn't look realistic now, but obviously the windows could be that big. Sure, sure. You could cover the door with something so that it just looked like a big factory. Yeah, that's very cool. Awesome. Well, and I'd say, I mean, relatively speaking, that was pretty easy to bring in the yeah, assets totally that are already thing. part of the game. You know, we just yeah. went out to the level we wanted to grab the assets from, pulled them in, made the change in Notepad++, and then, boom, they work in our game. That's awesome. I've only ever really taught myself other than sort of learning from other people's work, so... I mean, any of this tutorial is to be taken with a pinch of salt. <laughs> we'll put that disclaimer away. <laughs> yes. later. We probably should have started with that way back when we started this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trained, basically. I am I'm just very enthusiastic and have had, what is it now, five, yeah, five years and it's the fifth birthday from the release recently. Yeah, I've had a lot of time to play. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I think we should move straight on while we've got a bit of time. That's awesome. Very cool. Okay, um, uh, yeah, I, you want to... Oh, screenshot. We need to put a screenshot to your level. Oh, yeah, okay. So if you 
press escape and then go to screenshot mode. Don't don't move your camera where you want it right now. I do this every time oh, myself. Okay. <laughs> and then you go to screenshot mode and it resets the camera. And you're like, oh, okay. All right. I'll do it again. Oh, yep, you're right. Yeah. So before you do move the camera, <clears throat> bring up um, the bottom right button, which is the camera options. Okay. So from here you can move you can move the camera speed slider so you don't go like one miles an hour everywhere. Okay. And then put it where you want. I wouldn't put it quite that high, but yeah, definitely up from where it was. <laughs> It'd be like a rocket now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, so find somewhere. And you can still use the shift key to turbo. I think it multiplies it by two or something. All right, that's close. So, yeah. That, and then uh, you can use a field of view. Believe me, the field of view makes really nice camera shots. If you lower it down, say, by a little way. Yeah. And then zoom, and then move the camera back, and get the same shot. It just gives it that depth and more of like a real perspective. I find yeah, that's very it's such cool. A massive field of view by default. Sure. So in the top left, you can take a picture, and that will save that into your documents folder under your your BMG My Documents folder under Screenshots. Okay. And that's how I take all of my shots for my games uh, for my. Um, levels and scenarios all right so then now that i've taken a screenshot how do i make it the thumbnail for my level so close the game okay oh and i then didn't right say. click on your well the in your level folder you should have if you copied it from grid map you should have the preview dot jpeg still which is the um uh, where you were oh sorry. you're in the level folder yep. oh, yeah, here in the is. middle there you'll see it so it's still showing the grid map. So, if, I mean, the easiest way is to right-click and edit. Make sure you edit with paint, just normal MS Paint. Edit this? Yeah. Uh, so normal edit should bring up paint because it has a very quick function which allows you to just put the screenshot on it. Just, no, just edit. It should be, oh, yeah, I can do that just to ensure it. So where it says paste and left, the little drop-down array below it, yeah, click that. Paste from. Go to your BMNG Drive Documents folder, and then Screenshots, and then that one, yeah. And then open, and then close it. Save. Click save, and boom, done. Wow. Now when you load BMNG and look at your level, you will see your thumbnail. Easy as that. Oh, yes. Wow, that really was easy. Okay, cool. So now I have a custom thumbnail for my map. 